Hey everyone, welcome back to Undead World Hero Survival. So today we have a huge update that just dropped and we have a new rework for Nile. So should it be good? So let's try to find out. Okay guys, so we are here at the update. So a couple of details I'd like to mention. This is the update 1.0 and uh, there are two new heroes, Jack and Epic, support for Caligium. Um, we'll go through his kit uh, in another video and also Alexa if both of them are worth uh, recruiting for. So new features for this update is Astra's Secret Lab. This is new recruiting event available to all players who have completed stage 1 to 12 and will run from um, tomorrow. Uh, uh, this is going to be January 26 to February 15. Skins as well. We have new skins that will be dropping as well. And we will be having a recruiting wish list, which will be included in the cantina. So this wish list is going to be more or less um, gonna select a couple of heroes that you would want to have a more improved drop. And there are other miscellaneous uh, fixes in this update. So let's go to the hero balancing. It's going to be here. I actually enlarged that one um, before to the hero. Before we go to the hero balancing. Uh, I'd like to mention that these are the skins that will be dropping. So we have for Brittany, Astra, and Connor. Okay, to celebrate, we want to offer everyone a 10 recruitment ticket. Please visit the official Undead World Hero Survival Facebook page where you will find the link to redeem your ticket. So don't forget about that. Important, due to an issue on Discord uh, not allowing iOS users to redeem links, we ask everyone to visit our Facebook. So the code will expire in 72 hours. So please um, grab this one because this is going to be free 10 recruits. Okay guys, so here is Niles's new skills and stats. So let's uh, go through this. Tagged for death, attacks the nearest slay, mark target, deals 300% attack damage plus extra damage up to 30% max of HP in proportion to the target's lost health. Then Niles attacks nearby enemies with 100% of attack power and applies excessive bleeding to nearby bleeding enemies. Excess, uh, ignores defense and inflicts 50% of the attack power per 5 seconds. Okay, the difference for the previous one is the attack that Niles performs here. And the, the inflicted damage here is down from 60% to 50%. And but this the duration was increased from 3 seconds to 5 seconds. And also at level 4 here, um, the, the skill has been changed from, from increased uh, of 500% attack power to decrease of uh, cooldown. So that it, th those are the changes basically to his skill. For the first one then we go to rip off his second skill so niles attacks enemies in front of him in a straight line dealing 300 percent attack power and inflicting bleeding bleeding deals 330 percent attack power and per nine seconds uh, enemies take 20 percent increased damage from Niles' attack and niles gains 20 percent life steal for nine seconds so Again, the, the the important takeaway here is there's an increase of um, dealing attack to 300% from 230. Okay, so and also the bleeding deals 300% at 30% attack power. The old skill was at 20%, and this time Niles has life steal. Okay, from level two. This adds a third, a four hundred percent slash damage and fifty percent bleeding. Okay, so this is the main difference in the skill, the life, the life steal, and level two, and at level three increases to thirty percent life steal. Previously, this it wasn't here. So again, uh, a very impressive, uh, what they call this, impressive skill for Niles for skills one and two. Um, number three is going to be lethal tag sneaks up in health and applies a slay mark in the enemy with the lowest HP and rage attacks without stealth deals 20 uh, 200 percent attack power and, and and the target takes bleeding damage at 15 percent attack power per second 
evasion increases by 25% for 5 seconds after the skill. So the difference uh, from the last skill, this was a debuff for the enemies. Okay, so the, uh, the previous skill was um, decreasing evasion, adding a mark. This one is a buff for now, so uh, evasion increase. And um, the previous skill was also also gave uh, Niles uh, stealth. This one uh, attacks without stealth. So next is going to be at level two and three. So um, damage increases to twenty five percent. No longer giving him increased SP and uh, evasion inc uh, evasion increase to forty percent. So basically, this one is more simplified and more of a buff for him rather than a debuff for the enemy okay so the last one is really a change in the whole skill the previous skill was um um was known as hardcore this one is lethal cunning so it's a passive 30 percent reduction to to damage received from enemies from other than slay mark target the slay mark target attack power is reduced by 25% and evasion by 50% until the target dies. Niles gains 50 SP whether he attacks a slay mark target. If Niles kills a target, surrounding enemies' attack power and a a accuracy are decreased for 15 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. So this is a totally different skill from what he had before. The previous one was again was hardcore and it stunned and shocked target. So and the cooldown is reduced by half by the skill. So level two for this one is killing a slay target reduces surrounding enemies attack power and accuracy by forty percent uh, at five stacks increases forty five percent damage reduction from enemies without slay mark. Okay, and also for his uh, equipment. These are new stats, guys. Um, this is going. This is going to be very different from what he had before. So when Niles kills a slay target, enemies in a small area are affected by fear for three seconds. When attacking a bleeding enemy with a skill, additional damage to seven percent to target to target's max HP dealt. The next one is a 10% increase. And after using tag for death, Niles gains 50% attack speed and 50% lifesteal for 10 seconds. So again, definitely this kit overall makes Niles a deadly killer. Uh, plus for his lifesteal, more, his kit is more on buffs. It's no longer centered on debuffs. While he still has debuffs, but his kit is centered more on buffs, more on damage dealing, and more on lifesteal as well. So that is it, guys, for Niles' new kit. So hopefully, uh, we'll, I think he will improve from probably average to above average this time, rather than being the lowest ranked melee or any character in the game so anyway guys so that is it so those are my thoughts for the rework for now let's hope you got something from um from my synopsis of his new kit and uh, for those who are still here please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot and thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here